Once upon a time, there was a language called Java, in which they could define a variable of type string. They could leave it uninitialized, assign string values, or even assign null value which wipes the value off of variable. Now these could be some lines inside an Android application, where at some point, name was supposed to be shown to user via a text field. Then boom, unfortunately application stopped sign. This could degrade your application user experience. Why? Because programmer has forgotten to check for null value before using it, and it could only came up at runtime. Enter Kotlin. In Kotlin, a variable should be initialized right away and cannot be left without a value. Then, we can assign other values of the same type. What happens if we try to assign null value, since name is not nullable? It will prevent us at compile time. So there is no way for name to be null at any point. Thus, we can use it safely without any null check. But what if for some good reason we want to assign null value at some point? Then we have to explicitly declare name as nullable with a question mark in front of its type. Then we will be able to assign null values. But then every time we try to use name, compiler will prevent us at compile time. Unless we check for being null explicitly. So it will help us preventing null pointer exceptions at compile time, decreasing the surprises at runtime. For more videos and to see these in action in a real world Kotlin application written from scratch, head to our YouTube channel.